morning. Oh, son of a... My apologies, Mr. Bones. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if it's a mister, but I'm assuming it's hard to tell with their groin once the flesh is boiled off. Historically, most of those are made from male hobo bodies. And, you know, the lady hobos don't donate their bodies as much. Isn't that a head scratcher? Anyway, I don't mean to distract from the learning, so uh, take it away, Mr. Griffins. I'm, I don't know which button here is hold, but I have some good news. Uh, your son is not sick. I made an error. It's uh, Caleb Baker, not uh, Caleb Barker. Uh, so, and, and I'm sorry that you used your one phone call to find that out. Uh, Ms. Barker, can you please hold for just a second? Mm, yeah. Congratulations, you're color 97 on the free money giveaway. Just give us the phrase that pays. FM 97 uh, plays all the songs that are fit to hear. Why, pow? FM 97 plays the tunes that make you move. I, that's the phrase? So, Derbs, Helen promised me a bushel of pine cones for an art project. We're making these cute little pine cone creatures for the children's hospital. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll find the pine cones. Can you guys get these? Oh. Whitlock Rams, home of the, the Rams. Oh, what's up, call the number one? Derbs. Ralph. Derbs. Ralph. Oh, no. Did you sleep here? Yeah, I, but you know what? It's okay. I'm broken. I can't. Good morning, Ramrods. Oh, oh thank God, Helen. Helen. Oh, my Fanny. I really want to support you going back and getting your high school diploma, but you are too important to lose. So I'm going to go against everything this book tells me to do and beg you to come back. I, I, I'm nothing without you. We'll, we'll, we'll have a baby to fix it. Well, maybe not that. Ralph, you know that I can't say no to you. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but Sarika is now my favorite. Yeah. Her aunt wants to publish my book, The Pursuit of Happiness Through Societal Regression. We're meeting for dinner tonight at Mancy's. Mancy's is very romantic. I took Sarah, my college girlfriend, there. Oh, you gave her a name. Nice. But this is not a date. Besides, my aunt only goes for guys who drive BMWs, not driver's ed cars. And Heather's back to being my favorite. Don't call it a comeback. OK. Perhaps you've heard of my client, best-selling author Robin Schwank. The final book in his Rock Bottom trilogy, Disgraced, is set to be released in three weeks. But he's having a personal trauma and hasn't written it. What does this have to do with my book? This is your book. I want you to write Disgraced. Uh... You'll be paid, of course. And if you nail this, I will do everything I can to get your book published. Heather, you need to use the doorbell. He said no one would ever know your name. Let's prove him wrong. Let's have Schwank plagiarize Griffin. Yes, that is brilliant. It's a plagiarism time bomb. When it explodes, Schwank will be ruined and the world will know your name. Hey. So? You tried to mount me. But I caught you. Yeah, I bought the rights to your book. <laughs> yeah, you can't fool me because I'm a goddamn fox, Jackie. What? Oh, hi. Table for two, please. No, I didn't make a reservation. What about that empty table right there? Well, so much for my book. We're hanging out on a yacht. You stood by me, Captain. You said my ideas were good. You're my number one hero. I know that's not a yacht, but... I hope it counts for something. See, Sarika, this is why Heather's my favorite. You don't know anything about Katie Holmes Day. It's, it's a celebration of, of dream and wonder. You're gonna hate it. No, Marcus, my problem is that you all believe a doe-eyed actress can make your dreams come true. It doesn't work that way. Well, well, watch. Please, Katie Holmes, let me spend five more minutes with my dead mother. Is she, is she here, my mother? Is she here? Oh, she isn't? Yeah, no, because it doesn't work. We'll give her time. She has thousands of homes to visit. Hey, blessed day. I just bought this holiday classic at the rummage sale. And much to my surprise, the tape inside, it's an old home video. Hi, 
Hi, Jackie. I just wanted to wish you good luck at the science fair tomorrow, and I'm so sorry that I'm going to miss it. I want you to know that you are a brilliant, talented, beautiful boy, and I have no doubt that you're going to do great. And you'll definitely beat that bullying mouth breather, Greg Miller. I mean, he's probably going to present another potato clock. He did. I'm so proud of you. I love you, Jackie. I'll be damned. He gave me five more minutes with my mom. Excuse me, Dave. What's this? Oh. <laughs> Bonjour, Mouse. Mrs. Harper's gonna sew his little uh, beret back on for me. So that's your stuffed mouse? Yepper. My parents brought it back from Nova Scotia in the late 80s. Dave, get out. But my bird's eye steamed veggie medley's in the microwave. The lady get said, out. get out of here. Yikes, Dave. boy, howdy. Out. Now, you know I love clowning on Dave, but why are we mad at him again? Remember the clinic gave me a photo of my donor as a child? Oh. Bones your mouse. Well, girl, I need you to stop immediately, because it sounds like you're saying that geology Dave is your baby's daddy? Mm-hmm. Well, don't say that. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of people have Hansel yeah. mice from 1980s Nova Scotia. I don't want my baby to be a doofus. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. How did you know the key was in that rock? Well, it was the only rock with a price tag on it. My baby gonna be stupid. Yo, over here. Oh, it's him. Oh, I'm carrying a Dave. How am I gonna love it? You're not. Hey, none of us will. Oh, thanks for driving, babe. That whiskey glazed chicken gets me tipsy every time. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> God! Mary, Steph, Michelle, what, why are you here? You know the burglars? I'm having your husband's baby. Not what? Again. No, I did not cheat on you. I. I swear on the baby Jesus. Dave was her donor. She accidentally picked him from a clinic. They gave her this photo. A photo of my brother John? Of your whom? His handsome, tall, tech entrepreneur brother who speaks four languages? Who is also in jail for insider trading? Oh, oh thank God. <laughs> it's not a day. Congratulations. OK, thank you, Lord. It's not a day. <laughs> <laughs> He's in jail. This morning, I received a very lovely letter on this uh, very graphic Naked Angel Baby stationery. Oh, no. Oh, yes, Anthony. These angel buns herald for you. Dear Mr. Griffin, I am writing to thank you for all the after-hours biology tutoring you are providing for my grandson. Anthony is truly blessed to have you shepherd him on his journey while the sweet baby Jesus carries you both. It goes on like this for pages. Oh, there's a part here where um, she thanks Jesus for saving the baby on Days of Our Lives. And then it ends with uh, a recipe for turkey chili. I'm sorry, are you teaching Anthony biology? Well, Zam Zaddy, if cash is what you need, Caspi would love to get down on her private tutoring set. No, listen, I'm, I'm not teaching biology to anybody, okay? It appears that Anthony has been using my good name to lie to his own grandma. Time for me to put my royal feet up. This is bad. Yeah. He's not a wrestler, he's a he's a prop. Look, if you guys are ever gonna use me to like live a secret life, then it's gotta be for something badass. You know, not being a footstool for a high school janitor. He may be a janitor in here, but in the ring, he's a legend. Hans is doing me a favor by taking me on as his protege. <laughs> okay, so what's the plan? I want to be the baddest daddy to ever walk that aisle. I want long hair. I want to always look kind of wet. I want crowds of thousands to chant my name. Luther Phoenix, bird of pain. <laughs> Call me Danny Zuko, because I just got chills, and they are multiplying. Wow. 
I was once a lowly footstool who dreamed he could be a flamingo that soared above the heavens. My dreams were thrown in the trash by you, as now midnight. But from the ashes of filth, I am reborn. Behold, I am Trash Phoenix, and I am here to take your throne, King of Diamonds. Contest! <laughs>